about radio. Hi guys, this is my uh, 2LM beam that I made for 20 meters. Made it a couple of years ago, and uh, there's a video showing the details of that on YouTube. And I've got three guy ropes holding it up, and then I've got these two at the end of the beam that I use to turn it, as I, I don't have a rotator. And uh, I want to make a rotator that I can put at the bottom of the uh, the mast down here. Uh, I only get this uh, aerial out on sort of high days and holidays, um, and I've been happy enough to pull it round on uh, these two bits of rope. But it's it's a bit of a pain. And um, anyway, I was talking to a very good friend of mine, uh, Danny, Golf Whiskey 6 Lima Hotel Foxtrot. And I said, I'm looking for the parts to uh, put a, a rotator together. And he said, oh, what do you want? I said, well, I, I want to make a worm drive or a, a reduction gear. And I'm going to make it out of chain and uh, studying. And I explained what I was going to do. He said, oh, uh, you don't do that. He said, you, you want a, um, a reduction gear. And um, he said, I've, I've got some, come and have a look. And uh, anyway, he's given me a uh, reduction gear. I've got it on the bench over here. And it's one that he used on a tower that he made. And he took it off and put a bigger one on. But I'll, I'll give you a close up of this. So this is the, uh, the beast, and it's a, uh, a 40 to 1, 40 to 1 reduction and uh, look at it this is a, that's a man sized uh, um, reduction gear there I'll give you a close up of the uh, plate there so this is the uh, rating plate and it's uh, uh, as you see David Brown and it's uh, what they call a, a Radicon Series A it's the size is an A510 and uh, the ratio is 40 to 1 and uh, turning this round um, I should think that's uh, uh, a 25 mil or 1 inch uh, diameter shaft there so uh, quite a, a serious uh, gearbox this um, and to give you some idea I think that, that's about the size of gearbox you'd have on a, um, a roller shutter door or something like that and um, I haven't got a, 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 a fully worked out uh, plan for this yet. I'll give you some idea of the reduction. Um, but uh, at least that's a, a very good starting point. What I have got is uh, I've got some electric drills that I intend to use. Again, I'll show you these. As I say, I haven't got it schemed out yet, but uh, I've got. Uh, two of these drills that the batteries have gone uh, but the, the motors still work and uh, so you know these things have a, a gearbox on them already the, the, the different speeds and um, what I plan to do is uh, modify one of these and connect it to the shaft of this unit I'm just going to put some tape around here to uh, use it as a coupling and just to give you some idea of the uh, the potential drive speed that I can get. So um, with the drill on slow speed so I can I don't think I'm going to be able to stall that. So, I say that's 40 to 1, but uh, I think that's, that's going to be fine. Um, and I've bought... Uh, oh, 
25 meters of uh, five core cable. I say I haven't schemed it out yet, but uh, um, what I'd like to do is um, obviously have it reversible. I'll work out some switching arrangement. Um, so I've got to make this device couple to uh, the bottom of the antenna. Um, this is uh, what's called a taper lock fitting. So this is uh, a two-part fixing. It's got a keyway, and um, then uh, you you assemble this on the shaft and this part that's split on the inside. Um, you do up these two Allen screws, and that pulls this collar into a taper, and that locks onto it. Now I think I need to turn that down but that will almost certainly be hardened material so the first thing I'll have to do is anneal that so I'll probably just put that in the wood burner and uh, that, that'll uh, uh, let the hardness out um, but anyway I just thought I'd share this with you so I've connected the drill uh, to the worm dryer with uh, a bit of um, uh, reinforced flexible hose and I've got some 18 inch Stilsons here I guess you'd call them monkey wrench and uh, <laughs> and now I'm going to have to go and get a G clamp okay I think what I have to do is turn it around, uh, turn it over. There's, uh, there's only two feet on that side and four on this side. Um, tell just by the feel of it that um, this is not going to be a problem for even for a little motor like the electric drill um, it, it's going to have bags of power just remember with a, a 40 to 1 uh, ratio it means the, uh, the the output power is 40 times the input power so uh, the speed is reduced by a factor of uh, 1 to 40, but the power is multiplied by uh, 40. Um, so I know this little drill can twist my arm quite easily, so 40 times uh, that amount of power um, is, uh, is more than enough to, to turn my... Uh, uh, my little beam. <laughs> it's as much as I can do to uh, reverse that. If I was to carry on, that that would take my weight, and I weigh 11 stones. So, uh, um, no, that's fine. It just it, it's not scientific, but it gives me a feel. Uh, I know if I, I put these grips on the antenna to turn it, um, it the weight of the antenna is nothing. Okay, let's say uh, it's not a done deal yet, um, but I just wanted to share that with you, so as you can uh, see where I'm going. This is where I think I'm going. <laughs> oh, by the way, I bought um, a 2.5 millimeter square 
cable that's a cross sectional area it's not square cable it's 2.5 millimeter uh, total cross sectional area um, for each of the five cores um, I don't know what current I'm going to be pulling yet but um, the only other cable they've got in stock um, in, the, in the local town here was one millimeter squared and that, that wouldn't have been uh, very clever well, just for completeness uh, what I'll do is uh, show you what I've got at the bottom of the mask now and uh, I've got a bit of stuff toughener in the, the bottom here and I've got that little uh, nut and bolt through it just to stop it from uh, wandering around down here and uh, you can see it's pretty light and that's the same pair of stiltons there and you know, that sort of force to turn it is as much as I need so you can see compared with that uh, rotator um, uh, over that worm drive over there you could see how uh, how much force that had got so um, although I haven't sort of calculated anything it's just I know that's going to be okay so again to put it in context what I'm going to do is arrange for uh, this component to be turned down such that it'll locate uh, this will locate onto there um, uh, I've got these holes in the bottom here when I uh, actually drop the mast I, I have to put this rod through this hole uh, against these uh, two crowbars and uh, that ensures that when I drop the mast over, when I tip it over, it falls uh, in the right place um, as I'm, I'm <laughs> working in between uh, the fence and the vegetable garden and stuff like that. Um, so what I'll do is I'll raise the area, I'll then put this device into place on whatever support I finally wind up with, and then I'll simply pick this up, slide that, and I'll, I'll, I'll have this out of the way, put that in place and then pick this up uh, and put it on. It means I've got to shorten the guide ropes to accommodate uh, that change in height but that's that's not a problem. Um, it's just a case of uh, getting everything sort of worked out beforehand. Um, okay that's uh, that's about as far as I'm going to go this time guys uh, on this particular video. Um, wish me luck. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.